Hello friends, this is Kik, and in today's episode you can expect Elon Musk who has launched the language model Grok and is integrating it into Tesla. The new Microsoft method that allows AI models to learn from mistakes similar to humans. The Veroxy robot taking telepresence to a new level. A robot that has been taught to crouch while moving. Alienware, which has created a 5 meter keyboard and a giant mouse. The Fiido Titan electric bike with 3 batteries that can travel 400 km without recharging. And the Martian helicopter Ingenuity, which has been moved to a safe place where it will wait out two weeks without communication. All this and much more right now. Let's go! We'll start today's issue with Elon Musk, who launched the language model Grok. The startup named XAI, founded by Elon Musk, has announced an early beta version of the large language model Grok. As one of the data sources, the chatbot uses messages from social network X, which is also owned by Musk. After four months of training, the Grok chatbot passed a test determining the level of mathematical and logical abilities compared to modern models like El Llama 270B, Inflection 1, GPT 3.5, GPT 4, Palm 2, and Claude 2. Grok surpassed all models except GPT 4 and others that were trained on a much larger volume of data and with the use of greater computing power. The distinctive design feature of the Grok model is that it gets information in real time and is not afraid to discuss topics that are taboo for other chatbots. The unique and fundamental advantage of Grok is that it has knowledge of the world in real time through Platform X. The announcement states, It is also ready to answer risque questions that most other AI systems reject. A sensationalized example of such a risque topic was the instruction for producing cocaine, which Grok provided upon request. Get a degree in chemistry and a license from the Drug Enforcement Administration, build a secret lab, purchase all the necessary materials and hope that it all doesn't explode and you don't get arrested. GPT 3.5 asked the same question, response, sorry, I cannot assist you. Furthermore, Grok embodies the image of the guide from Douglas Adams' series of novels, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Musk's favorite book. Grok is designed to answer questions with a touch of wit and has a rebellious spirit, so please don't use it if you hate humor, Musk explained, adding that Grok is also a big fan of sarcasm. As for Tesla, the idea of using a small quantum version of Grok in Tesla, Cars was proposed by one of the beta testers, and Musk liked it. If the AI processors can handle the model's launch, the network of electric vehicles will become a vast distributed computing center that could, for example, engage in scientific research in its spare time from driving. Researchers from Microsoft Research Asia, Peking University and Xi'an Jiaotong University have developed a new methodology that encourages large language models to learn from their mistakes, similar to how humans learn. The scientists introduced the learning from mistakes strategy, which teaches AI to correct its own errors, thereby improving its reasoning ability. The researchers drew inspiration from human learning processes, where a student learns from their mistakes to improve future outcomes. They applied this concept to large language models, LLMs, using error correction data pairs generated by GPT-4 for fine-tuning. Initially, researchers used models like LLMA2, which generated incorrect solutions to mathematical word problems. Then GPT-4 identified errors in reasoning, explained them, and provided corrected reasoning. The researchers used the corrected data for further training of the original models. During experiments with five base LLM models and two mathematical reasoning tasks, it was found that Lima consistently improved performance compared to simple fine-tuning on conceptual task graphs data. Specialized LLMs, which were developed to solve math mathematical problems, achieved high accuracy in problem solving. Wizard Math and Metamath showed 85.4% accuracy on GSM-8K tasks and 27.1% on math tasks. These results surpassed the current achievements of open source models. GSM-8K and math are sets of problems used to test AI models. The team's research, including code, data, and models, is now publicly available on GitHub. Meanwhile, the Chinese robotics company Limex Dynamics has unveiled the W1 robot with wheels at the ends of its legs, capable of changing the height of its body relative to the surface to pass under low obstacles. W1 can dynamically combine walking and wheeling, overcoming obstacles such as ledges and even moving up and down stairs. The machine is equipped with a surface type detection system and can automatically switch between different modes of movement on the fly without stopping, as well as dynamically changing the height and angle of the body relative to the ground. The robot has four legs with knee joints that bend backward. At the end of each leg, there is a wheel with an electric motor that, when necessary, can be locked and serve as a sole for walking, providing good traction. Let's move on. Engineers from the University of Colorado Boulder have introduced McLari, a 2 cm long modular robot that changes shape to squeeze through narrow gaps in different directions. The scientists transformed their previous miniature robot named Clary, making it smaller and faster. The robot can maneuver in cluttered environments, switching from running forward to side-to-side -to -side movement. It does so not by turning, but by changing shape. The latest version has been reduced by 60% in length and by 38% in mass, while still retaining 80% of the actuator power 
horsepower compared to its predecessor. The Mclary robot is also more than three times faster. Its running speed reaches 60 millimeters per second. Like Clary, the robot is capable of moving in different forms and using various gates. This breakthrough in miniaturization was made possible through origami-based laminate design and manufacturing technology. Using this new approach, scientists can scale the structure up or down without sacrificing mechanical dexterity. The spider-like robot could potentially assist rapid response services after major disasters or be used to service jet engines. A team of researchers from Cornell and Brown Universities has developed the VROXY system, which they claim takes telepresence beyond mere viewing and talking. It has advantages over similar gesture replication systems that require relatively large and complex setups both on the user's and the viewer's side. In its current form, the VROXY robot consists of a tubular plastic body with motorized omnidirectional wheels at the bottom and a screen at the top. Also on top is a robotic index finger and a Ryko Theta V camera with a 360-degree view. The remotely located user simply wears a VR headset and switches between viewing in real time from the robot's 360-degree camera or a pre-scanned three-dimensional map of the entire space where the bot is located. This feature frees the user not only from the need to physically move the robot from place to place, but also from the dizziness that may occur when viewing live video feed while the robot is moving. The VR headset tracks the user's facial expressions and eye movements and reproduces them in real time on a virtual avatar. The headset also records head movements, which the robot mimics by panning or tilting the screen using a jointed mount. And when the user physically points at something in the headset's field of view, the robot's index finger points in the same direction in the real world. In the foreseeable future, the researchers hope to equip the robot with two arms. Electric bike manufacturers are striving to bring new models to the market that can stand out from the competition. One of the key trends has been the emergence of electric bicycles equipped with multiple battery packs, allowing for increased range. The Fido Titan is distinguished from other models of the Chinese brand Fido by its more robust construction and wide 10 cm tires, making it suitable for riding on any terrain. The low frame ensures ease of use for a wide range of cyclists and the suspension fork increases comfort during the ride. Two batteries are spare and one is integrated into the frame. By using Using the three batteries in rotation, the bike's range is increased to 400 km. The vehicle is equipped with a 750W electric motor, which allows for speeds of up to 45 km h. The bicycle supports five riding modes, which can be switched using a touchscreen on the handlebars. The electric bike has a load capacity of 200 kilos and also comes with a convenient luggage rack. The Fido Titan with a triple battery is sold on the official website for 2397s. However, there is also a model with a single battery available for $16,999. The company Alienware, known for its innovative solutions in the field of gaming laptops, has introduced a keyboard and mouse that literally go beyond the boundaries. The gaming keyboard AW420K and mouse AW720M are of gigantic sizes. The keyboard measures 5 meters in length and the weight of the space key exceeds 9 kios. Despite their impressive sizes, the new products are fully functional and have even been tested in action. The professional esports team Team Liquid tried them out in the popular game Dota 2. To control these monsters, the coordinated effort of all five players was required. Three controlled the mouse, while two handled the keyboard. The creation of these unique accessories took Alienware specialists only three days, with most components being 3D printed. A feature of the keys is the mechanical Cherry MX switch, with an increased travel of up to 10 cm and additional components to ensure the necessary responsiveness. And what would kick be without space? In the coming days, Mars will enter into conjunction with the Sun. This occurs approximately every two years. During this period, space communication with Earth will be difficult and even impossible. The Ingenuity helicopter and the Perseverance rover on Mars will stop receiving commands and, in automatic mode, risk causing trouble without proper supervision. Special concern should be for the little helicopter, which is vulnerable on its own. The NASA team has selected a safe location for the helicopter on the Red Planet for the two weeks when communication with Earth will be cut off. The Ingenuity Ingenuity helicopter arrived on Mars with the rover in February 2021. It fulfilled its scientific mission to prove the possibility of powered flight in the planet's thin atmosphere in the spring of the same year. Since then, the helicopter has been accompanying the rover and assisting in scouting the terrain. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to not miss a fresh portion of handpicked news. Goodbye.